Mark Fisher, and I'm Joel's uh, chief designer. Uh, before going really to the presentation, I would like to answer a question which we got related to our logo types. So why do we actually have so many different logo types? Well, we are still a very quick evolving company, so please go to our webpage, Google.com, press on the logo type, and then you will see. About our design drivers, so uh, let's start with simplicity. So whatever we do, we do it really in a simple manner um, and beautiful manner. So our designs are not at all like cold or plain. Instead, we keep it reduced, clean, easy to use. Logic. We create connections between entities in a way in a modular manner so that we build something bigger, so that we don't have to redo the stuff again and again. Magic. So we innovate, we are playful, we surprise whenever we use our device. Our, our manifest here helped us, and is still helping us, while developing and designing the Sailfish OS. So how would you actually um, design a layout uh, for, for the device? I guess you will start here with a status area horizontal stripe on top. Then you put something at the bottom, like navigation toolbar. After that, you notice you need an application header to write the name. After that, you notice you need some tabs, further stripes. The result is simply less and less stuff Less and less space for your own, for your content. So now in Jola, well, we just have that. It's, it's just uncluttered. We don't have any UI problem. So the whole stage is just your content. Now in the past, uh, devices and displays became larger and larger. And this makes it more and more difficult to use it in a convenient manner. So you have to stretch your finger to reach a back button. You have to move the device back and forth while interacting with the device. Now our user interface has a new interaction paradigm which is solving that issue and makes us far less independent of any screen size. So people are aware of uh, uh, touch interactions. So people know that when there's a touch device, there's a button, they know that tapping on that button will execute an action. So we, we, we agree that we don't um, need to over uh, draw that to have these super 3D uh, presentations of UI controls anymore. So instead, we just have class, we have a class pattern and light shining through the class pattern. And the light is communicating with you. So in fact, there is actually just a class between the technology and you. And we are really Playing with that, we are celebrating. So it's very common that people do uh, several things at the same time. So streaming, listening to streaming music, browsing the web, uh, checking the emails, lots of stuff happening. So we make multitasking you know, extremely uh, quick, extremely uh, nice and meaningful. So instead of going through lots of waypoints, we can directly jump to the things which are important for you. Our applications do fully run in the background, but there's still no need to show the whole information of an application. Also here, we, we pick the information which is really important for you, and we show that on our own. Then about the people, so well, these are people from our company, but we all are different. So we, we all like different things, we all do different things. We like to express our mood, we like to express and reflect the ambience. So Sailfish UI is about evolvement. It's about possibilities to create your very, very personal device, unlike others. So let's say now hello to our UI. Okay, uh, it's Carol back. Okay, let's put it.
see the screen. So here, uh, lock screen. So we have one virtual sprite. So it's the lock screen first. When I push that further, I enter the home view. Below that, there is the launcher. It's one simple logical orientation. When I'm on the home view, you notice that we do not have the static area for the status area. Instead, I simply push down the home view a little bit. It reveals the status information in large, readable manner. And now let's start a couple of applications. So let's start this is a very simple map application. Well, the Wi-Fi connections got a broken here. So um, let's push the, push the application away. We have a question. And open another application. So the media player. And again, so just from the side, I move my finger, push the application back and the home view. So here now on the home view, you do not have full one-to-one -one representation of the application. So instead, you have something more focused. So here, well, if the Wi-Fi would really work well, you would see the map, your current location. And here, for instance, there's the album mark of the last play song. Here, for an application, it's a good example of how much we actually reused the UI crawl. There is no UI crawl. It's just a call, block. Uh, here, all my missed call calls which I made, tapping on one item would initiate the call. On top, you notice, there is this flow. So whenever you see a flow on, on, on top, uh, it's the indicator for our innovations, so it's uh, the so-called pull menu. So you just track the list, again, uh, from that orientation, you just put it down. It reveals the options for that particular view. Now if I do that a bit slower, you notice that the options get actually focused. And there is a visual feedback on the screen, there is audio feedback, and a Wi-Fi feedback. And now when I release my finger, I enter the dialog. And this is a way how you can interact with that device without really looking at it. So I just pull down the, the menu, get the feedback, release my finger on the screen, uh, from the screen, and move on. I won't step further the dialer. The dialer, you notice that we have a placeholder here on top of the lock screen. So we're not moving users constantly to a new environment, a new view, a different layout. Instead, we ask for to be made call on top of the lock screen, because the call will appear later on if you're on the lock screen. So I type in the numbers here. I would make now a normal call, clicking on the keypad, allows me to change the call method. So now I will make a void call according to my current account settings. I now push the application away. Yes. I enter once again the home view. If I do this slowly, you see, I'm still within the phone application, but I'm fully able to look at the home screen, at those covers, and the information which they communicate. shows my last made call to some of my colleagues. And there are uh, two indicators here at the bottom of the cover. Now, moving my finger on top of the cover, the right side reveals again a fully like uh, menu option. But I simply release my finger and I jump directly to the dial. So this is really a quick, extremely quick way how to navigate within the UI, and it's really fun to play around. So I was here, our media player. So here we develop the framework. So the media player combines all your media, all in one application. So the videos, uh, your music, streaming music, uh, internet radios. Here's the picture. 
sort of like go now back to the main view. I do not need to find the back part of it. So which is like either on top of the screen, or here, or somewhere on the screen, or on the hardware. Instead, I just track the whole view horizontally, push it back, and I'm in the main view. So this is really like a very pleasant way how you can uh, navigate. Thank you. 